Okay, working on the gas valve here, we have the gas control. We have our pilot assembly that goes into the combustion chamber, a resettable thermal switch. What I've already done is I've set my meter up to measure DC voltage, uh, direct current voltage, black lead. I'm going to actually going to put into in between the jacket base, what I call the jacket base, and the painted skin or the jacket of the water heater. That's going to be my ground connection. My red test lead is going to go red wire from my pilot assembly goes to one side of my resettable thermal switch. What this is going to do is I connect these, I'm going to be able to measure voltage produced by my thermal pile. Now when I light this pilot, following the lighting instructions on the label here, pushing in my, my, my red button, hitting the piezo, my striker, and at that time we're going to see the millivolt reading start to increase. It's telling me that the pilot is lit, we won't have to look into that sight glass window, which can be kind of tedious at times. We're going to watch this reading here. It's going to slowly rise. It could take up to 90 seconds, you know, worst case scenario. But up to about 250 millivolts tells us we'll hear an audible click. Hey, that the pilot is lit. It's able to maintain its own energy. So as I let go of that button, we're going to, we're going to stay monitoring our voltage output. The readings, again, are going to increase. A uh, potential of 750 millivolts. The magic number kind of that we use in tech support, once I see about 350, that's, that's substantiating to me we have good pilot energy, a good thermal pile, our gas pressures are likely okay as well. We know that we have power or energy going into one side of our limit switch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test before and after this limit switch. Voltage going in, roughly 500 millivolts voltage coming out should be the same type of voltage. Now if we see a voltage drop across that switch, that's indicating to me, service guy, that switch is, is likely our problem. So we'd go into that next step of how do we test that switch, and more importantly, why is the switch bad?